Greetings, Hope City family. My name is Jesse and I serve here on the team at Hope City. I'm truly honored to be a part of the 21 days of prayer and fasting. We all understand the power that lies within our prayers and we have witnessed God's responses to them. Today, I've been given the opportunity to speak on the topic of salvation. So allow me to shed some light on this concept. Salvation encompasses individuals who may not share the same spiritual beliefs as us. To put it into perspective, it could be our immediate family, members, our brothers, sisters, mothers, or fathers. It could also extend to our neighbors, co-workers, or even those in high positions in authority who we may disagree with. Yes, believe it or not, Jesus died for us all, even our enemies. So let's take a moment and digest this profound truth. If we open up our Bibles, in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God gave his Son to anyone who will believe. And to believe means to accept or regard something true or real. It implies placing confidence or reliance in someone else, and that is Jesus. Here's something liberating to consider as you pray for the lost. It is not our responsibility to save them. Our role is to simply share the gospel. That's right. Our role is just to share the truth of Jesus Christ. And as we do, the Holy Spirit will work within them. If we go to the book of John chapter 6, verse 44, it kindly says, and it reminds us that God draws all men unto himself. This serves as a reminder that it is God who performs the good work and we are just merely co-laborers in his kingdom. Let's not forget that God reveals himself to us every single day. We can witness his glory through nature and his creation, but however, the lost remain blind to this truth due to the enemy's suppression. And we can read that reality in the book of John chapter eight, verse 44. So let's go to the word of God. In the book of John chapter eight, verse 44 says, you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of all lies. We as believers understand this truth that God has spoken through his word, but it is up, it is up to us to speak this truth to those who are lost. How will they know if the love of Christ is not shown, nor isn't being spoken about to those we love? Therefore, we must pray for three essential things, grace, boldness and salvation. Firstly, grace. Pray that the grace of God and his judgment will not befall the lost. While hell is real, so is heaven. The devil may exist, but God's power surpasses awe. And we believe that the grace bestowed upon us through Jesus covers the multitudes of sins committed by the lost. Secondly, boldness. Pray that the spirit of God grants you the courage to speak the gospel to those who are lost. You may be filled with the Holy Spirit and enables you to share that truth of Christ, and you're able to encounter that. It is disheartening to know that only 2% of Christians within the church actively witness to the lost. However, we have an opportunity to make a change and we can start today. Thirdly, salvation. Our prayers should seek the eternal and spiritual deliverance for our families and friends. Our prayer is that those who are lost will wholeheartedly embrace Christ, make a complete turnaround and faithfully follow him. These three essential things are call to action, grace, bonus, and salvation. So let's pray these three things for our loved ones, our friends, our family that are far away from God. God, we come before you right now, Lord. We pray for your grace, God, for those who are far away from you, Lord, that they will feel you and sense you and that you, Father, will, re will reveal yourself to them, God. Speak to them, Father, through their day in and day out, Father, through music, through nature, through other friends. Use us actively, Lord. Father, we also pray for your boldness, God. Father, Holy Spirit, fill us in with your boldness that we are not afraid to speak your truth in love and in kindness, God, that you give us the boldness, Father, that you gave Christ, Father, as he was here on earth, that you would give us that same boldness, Father, to be able to do that to those who are far away from you, God. Father, we pray right now, God, for that boldness to be able to speak your truth, Father, your word, Father, unto those who are lost, Lord. And thirdly, God, we pray over salvation. Father, start to save them, God, that they will sense you and feel your spirit, God, and you will mark their lives, Father, that they will get to know who you really are, Father, that they get to believe in the power of Christ, in the power of that cross, Father. We pray for salvation right here in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.